hope you enjoyed learning about the composer and conductor John Williams last time. Today, we are going to learn about two things. The first one is a holiday. The second one is a new kind of rhythm. Get ready for awesomeness. Our new holiday that we're learning about is called Diwali. Can you practice saying Diwali? It is a holiday about the festival of lights. I'm going to read about it to you while you read in your head. Diwali is a Hindu festival with lights held in the late fall to celebrate the victory of light over darkness. The festival is celebrated all over the world, but originated in India. It is particularly associated with Lakshmi, the goddess of prosperity, and marks the beginning of the new year in India. So let's find India on the map. It's here in red. That's India. But we live over here in San Antonio, right here, where Ms. Beckman's pointing, in the middle of Texas, in the United States. So it's a far way to India. But guess what? There are people even in San Antonio who celebrate Diwali. So we're learning about it in order to increase our open-mindedness towards other cultures. And maybe you know somebody, or maybe you yourself celebrate Diwali. Here are some pictures about what Diwali is. They celebrate with special music played on a cool instrument called the sitar. They have special candles, which you're about to learn about. They have fireworks, festivals, parties, and special food. So now we're going to learn a song about Diwali. This is a very short part of the song. It's the chorus or the part that keeps repeating. So I'm going to sing it first. Just listen and tell me, does any part of the song repeat? Listen. Diwali is here. Diwali is here. Happiness arrives. Happiness is here. Did any part repeat? Was number one, two, three, or four? Which parts repeated? Numbers one and number two. They're the same. So now let's learn number one and two. First me, then you. Before we start, let's sit up tall because your body is an instrument and let's make sure we warm up our voice. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Okay, first me, then you. Diwali is here, Diwali is here. Now let's do number three by itself. First me, then you. Happiness arrives. Now four, happiness is here. Try three and four together. Happiness arrives, happiness is here. Now let's try all of them together. First me, then you. Diwali is here, Diwali is here. Happiness arrives, happiness is here. Awesome. Now I'm going to show you a YouTube video that has this chorus about three times. So whenever it comes up, make sure to sing along. During the verses, you'll be learning about more about what you saw in the pictures and how they celebrate. It's so exciting. Maybe you'll decide to celebrate Diwali yourself.
I cannot wait to sing this song with you. Okay, here we go. Miss Beckman's little video is gone so that you can see the whole video. Here we go. Make sure to sing. Diwali is here. Diwali is here. Happiness arrives. Happiness is here. D was lighted in every house. Rangoli patterns in every house. Diwali is here. Diwali is here. Happiness arrives. Happiness is here. Decorations on every door. Tiny stars are shining bright. Diwali is here. Diwali is here. Happiness arrives. Happiness is here. So happy Diwali and I hope that you have learned something special today and maybe you and your family want to celebrate by lighting a candle to celebrate how the light overcomes the darkness. Now let's learn about our special new rhythm. You guys already know a lot about rhythm. We have learned a lot about regular rhythm. And that's rhythm that occurs on the beat. Let's copy some rhythms. Show five and two. First me, then you. Ta, 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 di, ta. Ta, di, ta, ta, di, ta. Ta, 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 di, ni, ta. Ta, ta, di. All of those are regular rhythm, but today we're going to learn about syncopation. Say syncopation. Let's learn what they mean. Regular rhythm is where rhythm patterns occur on the beat. Just like we just practiced. If I kept a steady beat, all of those rhythms would happen on the beat. But syncopation is where rhythm patterns occur off of the beat. That means that if my hand's going like this for the beat, down, up, down, up, down, up, the rhythm is going to occur on the up of the beat. So it's a mysterious beat that sounds really cool. So in other words, the regular rhythm is very normal. It's very standard. Just like this red square who's smiling. He's pretty normal. He's wearing his white tennis shoes and he's smiling. But look at the syncopation guy. He is sticking his tongue out, his eyebrows are wrinkled, and he is ready to maybe be tricky or kind of funky. So that's kind of the character of regular versus syncopation. But now let's look at some actual music. I know that you have a lot on this screen, but focus down here where you see the rhythm notes. Now, if we did this regularly, we would say ta di ta di ta di ta. That sounds like regular rhythm, Miss Beckman. Yeah, you're right. But now we're going to put an accent on certain beats. Before we put the accents, do this rhythm regular with me, five and two. Ready, set. Go. Ta di ta di ta di ta. So now look at where the accents are. I've circled them for you. Ooh, what's inside every circle? A shoe? What does that mean, Miss Beckman? That means that we're going to stomp our foot on that part. Okay, so we stomp on the first ta. Ooh, so it's ta di ta di. Ooh, we're going to stomp on that D. That's going to create our syncopation feel. B, 
because we're emphasizing a part of the beat that's not normally an accent. And then the last shoe is on the last top. So this time, let's try it again. And Ms. Beckman's going to clap every time there's a shoe so you can hear the syncopation. So we have it like this. ta di ta di ta di ta But let's say it with a different word. Every time we see a turkey, we're going to say gobble because this is the Thanksgiving syncopation rap. So we're going to celebrate Thanksgiving and learn about a new funny uh, uh, rhythm. So it's going to be stomp, gobble, gobble, stomp, gobble, gobble, stomp. Let's say it together. Ready? Go. Stomp, gobble, gobble, stomp, gobble, gobble, stomp. And you're going to perform that in the flip grid later where you actually stomp your foot. I don't know if you could hear that, but I hope you could. So you're going to go like this in the flip grid. Stomp, gobble, gobble, stomp, gobble, gobble, stomp. And then it changes. Check it out. The picture of the foot is gone. And now you're patting your legs. And you're going to say the word pat. Pat, gobble, gobble, pat, gobble, gobble, pat. Try that with me. Ready? Go. Pat, gobble, gobble, pat, gobble, gobble, pat. Ooh, I can already feel your syncopation. Ooh, what do you think for this one? Yes, we're going to clap it with our hands up like this. Clap, gobble, gobble, clap, gobble, gobble, clap. And now I want you to look back at those three things and notice in the staff how they're changing it. Look at this blue note here for the stomp. And now I'm going to change the slide. What happened to it here? It turned a different color of green and it moved to a different space. So back to the stomp. It's on space one. Show me your hand staff. So it goes space one is the stomp. Then it goes to space two for the pat. And then let's check out what the clap is. Oh, it goes all the way up to space four. So it starts down at the bottom and then it goes up and then skips up to high clapping. So let's try them all together. Ms. Beckman is just going to do the speaking and you guys speak with me, okay? Here we go. Ready, set, go. Stomp, gobble, gobble, stomp, gobble, gobble, stomp. Pat, gobble, gobble, pat, gobble, gobble, pat. Clap, gobble, gobble, clap, gobble, gobble, clap. You guys feel that syncopation, especially on the middle one. That's really where it's on the up of the beat. Let's do it one more time because you're about to do it in your Flipgrid video. Here we go. Let's practice. Ready, set, go. Stomp, gobble, gobble, stomp, gobble, gobble, stomp. Pat, gobble, gobble, pat, gobble, gobble, pat. Clap, gobble, gobble, clap, gobble, gobble, clap. Okay, so now, let's see. Let's do it one time without the music to see if you remember it. Go ahead and look up here at the hand staff and we'll do it like this. Stomp, gobble, gobble, stomp, gobble, gobble, stomp. Pat, do you see we're moving on our hand staff every time it changes? So we'll start with space one, jump to space two, and then go to space four. Try with your hand staff with me. We'll do it two times. To practice. Ready, set, go. Stomp, gobble, gobble, stomp, gobble, gobble, stomp. Pat, gobble, gobble, pat, gobble, gobble, pat. Clap, gobble, gobble, clap, gobble, gobble, clap. Great job. So now in your flip grid, you can do the hand staff version like I just showed you, or you can stand up and actually do the body percussion. You're about to practice with a really fun YouTube video. So make sure you follow along and the music video has a lot more cool information about syncopation. Good luck and we'll see you soon.